Happy New Year to all of you and happy holidays or Christmas. I hope that all of your wishes and dreams come true in this new year of 2023. Now, starting my first new video for 2023, I decided to talk about $5 frags. You know, when you go to your LFS, you notice that there's always a section of $5 or even $10 frags. Well, you'd be amazed. There's a lot of people, and as you must be aware, I go ahead and I research before I shoot a video on the topic of discussion that, that I'm going to make the video on. And I have found, and I personally know other people that have had uh, luck and very uh, success with $5 or $10 frags. Uh, some don't make it, others do, and they start to color up and you'll be amazed. So this first video for 2023, what I'm going to talk about is about that topic. What constitutes the five or ten dollar frags, shall we call it, and why do some make it and others don't? And then as I do that, I'm going to go and show uh, all of you the different things that's been happening. And if you notice on the intro, I have some new stuff. So I hope you enjoy this video. But before, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and, and uh, smash that notification bell. So let's take a deep dive into it on this first New Year's 2023 video and check it out. Hold on. Okay, so here we are in front of the tank. But before I go ahead and I focus strictly on certain corals, I thought I'd, I'd give all of you like a basic knowledge when it comes to corals and like I said in the intro, uh, what constitutes a five or a ten dollar frag versus others when it comes to corals and the mother colony uh, it depends sometimes the uh, genome of that coral is very strong and sometimes on other corals the genome is is weak it's uh it's in other words it's a, a weak strain shall we call it now as all of you must be aware when it comes to quote unquote frags Okay, the mother colonies, of course, are cut to make frags. Then those frags are grown out and then they cut that. So you have another frag. So you have the mother colony, then a frag of a frag of a frag of a frag. Now, what happens here is that if the main coral, the mother colony, was a weak genome, then upon you know, fragging, 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 then you're going to notice that some of these corals, they, they won't have as vibrant colors as others do. And their growth pattern isn't going to be that, that well. Now, what happens at the LFS is they go ahead and uh, they make an inventory, more or less, and most of these corals, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to show you a couple. One, uh, that is like a, from a weak strain and the other that did phenomenal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what happens is they go ahead and, and they do an inventory. And then let's say an excellent coral uh, that was from a, uh, a stronger strain, uh, a stronger genome uh, for whatever reason. Although, you know, all, the, all of these uh, LFS, you must be aware that that's uh, one of their main products to sell. So they're constantly feeding and feeding and they're checking the parameters constantly and constantly and constantly to make sure they keep them alive and vibrant. So when all of us go and we buy them, uh, they go to their new home. And depending on the water quality that you have in the parameters, they'll do well or they won't do as good. But going back, uh, the LFS here or in any place in the world, in the continent of the United States, they'll check. And when they see that there's a coral or corals that were like, you know, $100 or 70 or 40 or whatever, but they're noticing that uh, maybe uh, uh, one head died or it has lost its vi uh, vibrant colors and so on, then those corals go to the 5 or $10 frags. Now, you'll be amazed, as I said in the intro, I have seen uh, tanks, reef tanks, 
that either they have, uh, I mean, they have flourished from either just frags or also from, I mean, when I say frags, you know, it, it could be 10, 50, 20, uh, or $40 or, or uh, $70 frags, or they have actually had quite a few of these um, 5 or $10 frags, and they have done phenomenal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get closer to, to the tank, and I'm going to show you individual corals besides uh, general observation of the tank, how, how the tank is uh, doing. So hold on one second while I set up to shoot some more closer shots. Hold on. Okay, now the first coral that I'm showing you, this coral was a $5 frag. It only had one little polyp. It looked okay. It looked fine. It had the complete mouth. And this coral, be honest with you, if you follow me, you've noticed that I had placed it on different areas, but I decided to place it there. It likes it. And look at it now. Look at how many heads the coral actually has. As a matter of fact, if you look closely, you'll see actually uh, the feelers coming out feeding from the actual uh, bacteria and little microscopic uh, um, animals that are there in the actual water column. So this is an example of a strong genome. The coral probably just had, you know, one, uh, one little polyp. It, I, I don't know. It's, it, it's been here for quite a while. If your water parameters are within check or within, shall I say it, within normal limits, uh, it, it should thrive and you feed it and all that so it, it should do great Now I'm going to show you now another coral that was a five dollar frag, but it's not doing as well as this one is So let's take a quick look to that one Okay, now I'm focusing to another coral this one. I uh, got it. I'd say about a Month and a half or two months ago. This is also a five dollar frag I got it at a different uh, LFS, and as you notice, this one is not as vibrant, although it's a different color, but it's not as vibrant as the other one. Now, uh, I've moved it around. I had it, if you follow me, you'll notice that I had it on the sand, on the substrate, on the uh, right-hand side, right on, on the bottom. About, I'd say about a week and a half ago, I decided to glue it on this section to give it more more light now here's what you have to look at in reference to what i was uh, saying not too long ago as long as the coral has its complete mouth like what what you're seeing here what you're seeing here uh you're gonna notice that although it's pale but it has one two three it has i think about like four complete polyps mouth but it's, it's uh, faint, you know, it's very light in color. This coral most probably came from a weak genome, from a weak strain. And, you know, the, what I was saying before, the fragging and frag, frag from the mother colony, then frag again, frag, 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 frag. Now, as long as when the rule of thumb of buying these 5 or $10 frags is... When you look at it, make sure that, that you can get them as much vibrant colors as possible. That's number one. Usually they're not uh, going to be like that due to the fact, well, that's, that's why they ended up on the 5 or $10 frag. But what you have to look at is what you're seeing here, that they have complete mouths, that the polyp is complete, whether it's one or two, they are complete. And if you have that, there is a, a hope that it'll make it through, it'll flourish like the other one that, that, that I just showed you, and it'll, uh, apparently, it will start to gain color and, and uh, grow and grow and grow. And again, like I mentioned before, I'm reiterating that feed it. You know, uh, try uh, these, these corals that are cheaper, that are five or ten dollar uh, frags, uh, feed them. Uh, give it a little more uh, TLC you know, uh, feed it the, directly and see and, and just check it out. Now, I'm going to show you a $10 frag, 
These two that I showed you so far were $5 frags. Now I'm going to show you a $10 frag. Okay, now this coral that you're looking at, this little Acropora, this, is, this was a $10 frag. The only problem I'm having, well, it's colored up, it's doing fine, it's not dying or nothing, but it just, it won't grow. It just stays there. I went and they told me that it's a slow grower and all that, but it just won't grow. Uh, the colors are there. I, I don't see no section of die-offs or nothing, but the little rascal just, it won't grow. So this is an example of a, of a $10 frag. I would say that when it comes to the geno, and if it's a weak geno or a strong geno, I would say that this, this coral might be like right in the middle. It's not weak, 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 because it does have uh, the vibrant colors and, uh, and the polyps extend out and everything. But then at the same time, it won't grow like the previous, the first coral that I showed uh, all of you guys. It, it won't grow. And I've, I've had this coral for more than five or seven months. But also another lesson to be learned on this video is that sometimes, uh, I don't know if all of you out there have been told this, but when it comes to acclimation, and corals. Sometimes corals uh, takes they, they take a long while to actually acclimate, where there's temperature or you know calcium, pH, etc., etc., alkalinity, and everything. So sometimes you be surprised. It might take one week, two. It, it might take even a few months to actually acclimate to your actual water conditions. Then it goes ahead and it, and it starts to flourish. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it educational and fun. Again, as I said on the intro, and I'll say it on the outro, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and smash that notification bell. And until next time, bye-bye, and again, Happy New Year.